Hey folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again. And this time we're going to look at game number 11 in our 20 from 1985 series. And this is a, a classic by Capcom. Uh, this appears on a number of Capcom classic compilations. And this one is called Section Z. And uh, as the title implies, uh, you try to reach the section by the name of Z. And there are sections A through Z. And there are groups of the sections uh, usually five. Uh, the last the last area has six sections, but uh, you use an eight-way joystick and you use uh, two buttons. One will fire, and one will rotate you the other way. And it is a forced uh, scrolling game, or a fi fixed scrolling. And uh, you also have a bomb that will fire whenever you shoot your lasers. And there are three uh, levels of power-up that you can get. And uh, by shooting certain domes, and there's one right there that he shoots, you can get a speed up. And that will make you a little bit faster. And you can increase that speed up uh, two more times. I don't know why the computer went all spazzo there. Uh, but you can also get a weapon power up, and that'll make your shot stronger. And you can increase that uh, to a total of uh, three times. You can also pick up bonus points from that same uh, silver domed thing, and it'll say uh, B. And that'll just give you points. You can uh, take out a group of enemies for uh, 500 points. For a special bonus of 500 points. This game gets really tough. <laughs> uh, yeah, there are a total of five areas. And they have uh, letters to the zones that are in them. You know, A through Z. And there's that, uh, there's that, uh, uh, silver domed thing that I destroyed and I got an S, which is, uh, uh, speed up. Uh, some of the domes will turn into these little spinning things. And you can shoot the spinning things repeatedly and, and possibly get a maximum of 10,000 bonus points. There's some hidden bonus points in the game. Uh, sometimes there is a, uh, a statue head. Oh, there it is! That you can uncover by shooting in certain places. And then when you shoot the uh, statue head, you will get 2,000 points. There is also a heart somewhere in the game. And there's that spinner I was talking about. Shoot it enough times and you'll get that 10,000 point bonus. You get an extra life at 20,000 points, and then I think 50,000 every 50,000 after that. But you see at the top right a, uh, a power meter uh, for the, the peas that you pick up from the uh, domed uh, enemies, and there's another one. And you can have a maximum of three, and now I've got two of them. It may not make your shot look different, but it will be stronger. And there will be boss fights at the end of a group of uh, uh, sections. And we're just about to fight one. And the boss fights can be over real quick if you are powered up. Oopsie! <laughs> and uh, like I said, you can increase the POW maximum to 3 and the speed maximum to 3. Now, uh, um, the uh, sound might not be synced up properly, but I think that's just kind of a... That's just how the game operates. It seems like the sound is a little bit off. Now, here's where the game really starts to get tough. You have these enemies shooting you from all over, shooting at you from all over. And then you have these big, long lasers that come out of these enemies. This game's challenge is 
it's really, really steep at times, but I really like it. I like this game. I think this is fun. Like I said, this, uh, this appears on a number of uh, Capcom Classics compilations. Rightfully so, this is a cool game. Really, it wasn't quite anything like this at the time, I don't think. I don't recall seeing this in arcades. Um, but then I started really hearing about it, uh, uh, I think maybe through gaming magazines. This is kind of hard. You have to find just the right time to sneak between these, uh, these spheres that move back and forth. Yeah, touching uh, any bullet, any enemy, you are dead. Instantly, and you get... Uh, there are certain checkpoints in each area, and you'll get uh, pushed back to that, uh, that checkpoint. And you have to fit either through the center of this at the right time, or avoid it entirely by going to the far left and waiting for it to pass. But yeah, those, uh, those silver domes will release the power-ups, the speed-ups, or the bonus points, and they are identified by a letter. Uh, S for speed-up, P for power-up for the weapon, or B for bonus points. But yeah, it's, it's fetching to learn the right time to... <laughs> yeah, I, Ended him real quick, and I only had one uh, power up. <laughs> but um, you will get some uh, bonus points for the uh, uh, at the end of uh, an area, a group of areas or sections that you cleared. But yeah, you get a bomb uh, for each laser that you fire. A little bomb will drop. And uh, some enemies you cannot destroy, like these little things that shoot the lasers out. You can't destroy them, you can't bomb them, you can't shoot them. Uh, these little green guys will menace you later in the game as well. It's a weird little game, but I, I rather like it. Uh, don't go after the power-ups if they're... Ooh, that was close. Don't go after the power-ups if they're uh, too far out of your way. Or if, or if they, uh, uh, if trying to get them will put you in danger of running into an enemy or getting shot by an enemy. Oops, crap. <laughs> yeah, it's this game. I kind of like it. Um, it doesn't have all the, uh, uh doesn't have all the uh, uh, Capcom bonuses that you that you often find in other Capcom games like the. Yashichi, or the uh, Dragonflies, or uh, the Barrel, or the Strawberry, or the Capcom Cow, or White Star, or whatever. But it does have the, like I showed you, the, uh, um, uh, what is it? The, uh, um, the statue, and it also has a heart somewhere that you can shoot at certain places to uncover them for bonus points. You have to shoot those uh, walking things enough to destroy them. All sorts of nice little bonuses to be had in this game. Like I said, I, I don't think I've ever come across this in arcades, but I, I like it. It's very tough. Uh, try to avoid getting pinched. Uh, getting trapped as the screen scrolls. This part is very tough. Watch out for these uh, bouncing pinballs. And note where they come out of. Those little holes. And so try to try to avoid being close to a hole if you can. They can't... These balls cannot be destroyed. These pinballs. You don't bounce off the bumpers like a, like a pinball. <laughs> Just try to get past them and and uh, they won't uh, bounce to the left after you. They'll uh, they'll blow up before they can reach you. And then you have to destroy these these parts here and then destroy the boss with enough shots. 
since I don't have any uh, weapon power-ups, he's going to take a little while. There we go. And he uh, spits out a little green copy of you, and you'll have to destroy it. And then uh, this part is really tough. Um, the screen is scrolling downwards, and you have to uh, move through these areas and watch out for enemies that are trying to kill you. And it can be real easy to get trapped and die. And now enemies are pouring, pouring forth from both sides. Yeah, this this part I can't get past. But yeah, this is a cool game. Note that we've gotten to uh, uh, O out of uh, A through Z. Once you beat uh, all the stages, once you beat Z, then you get a uh, bonus, and then you gotta you've got to uh, uh, start the whole uh, the whole game over again from uh, from section A. And now you have to destroy these walls. Yikes! Oh, and then this is trying to kill me. Oh, crap! <laughs> well, that's my game of section Z. Uh, it has uh, kind of loud, uh, vibrant Capcom music, and you get to put in a lot of initials. I think you get to put in like ten. Yeah, ten initials. So I'm gonna put in Russell Son. <laughs> that is Section Z. It is a very, very cool game. And then you get to choose uh, whether you want to continue or not by putting in another uh, credit. And I neglected to. But uh, we will look at uh, the point from where I uh, left off and finish off the game. With Invincibility Cheat, of course. <laughs> there are some uh, other bonuses. I think I think I showed them earlier. And there are these little blue, I think, and red creatures that you can either shoot or you can touch. They will not kill you. You will be able to pick them up for bonuses. Yeah, some, some kind of cool little bonuses here and there. A lot of, uh, lot of tough, uh, challenging action in this game. And you really need to learn to make use of your flip button that flips you uh, 180 degrees the other way. And you'll need to use that a lot, especially when a number of enemy cannons are firing at you from both sides. Yeah, definitely... Uh, Definitely check out uh, some Capcom Classic collections, and you'll you'll find this game in there. And yeah, you can upgrade upgrade your your shot to three uh, three times, and upgrade your speed to three times. And you can make enemy or uh, you can make boss fights much 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 quicker when you have your uh, your weapon powered up. Even even just one, there's a number of bosses you can wipe out real quick. I think it's the boss of this area, or or of uh, section T, that is the toughest in the game. I mean, maybe not the most challenging, but it is. It takes the longest to bring it down, even with like full weapon. And. Uh, my, uh, I have fully powered up uh, weapon power and speed, and I might have put in a cheat to uh, to get those instead of uh, instead of just collecting them, which I could have done with invincibility on. And now we're back to. Uh, to these uh, uh, spheres being passed back and forth from the cannons. It's tough to uh, to learn when is the right time to start moving. 
uh, to to get between those uh, those objects. Yeah, many uh, enemy groups. If you destroy all of them, you get a 500 point bonus, but not all. Just uh, just learn learn to use that flip button quite a bit. You are definitely going to get surrounded at times in this game. I don't know when the first Capcom collection type of uh, uh, game was released, but uh, I think I remember the earliest ones having a Section C in them. Yeah, this boss takes forever to destroy. And note that you are timed in trying to bring the boss down. And if you run out of time, I believe you die. But you should have plenty of time, even with this boss. I really wish that there was rapid fire in this game. That you could just hold down the button and release a steady stream of fire. You cannot. Kind of looks like, uh, kind of looks like you do because the bullets come out so fast. But no, you have to keep wailing on the button. And now this is the last uh, area in the game, and it has six sections. You can blow off the heads of these of these guys for uh, some bonus points, 400 apiece. A little bit of a slowdown here. <laughs> Just a little bit. Yeah, for 1985, this... I think this is pretty darn impressive. Uh, Capcom was really starting to become a, a power player in the uh, arcade scene. Uh, uh, Ghosts and Goblins. Uh, Gunsmoke. And... Uh, they'd already had... Uh, uh, 1942 before this, and there's also, of course, Commando. Yeah, I, I really like this game. And there's another spinner thing. Yeah, just keep hitting the spinner, and eventually you'll be able to collect 10,000 points. You can't get more points after that if you continue to shoot it. I hate those little uh, laser guys. Well, I hope you uh, end up having a great uh, Thanksgiving next week. What are your What are your plans? Are you going to your folks' house, which I'm going to end up doing? Probably see uh, both brothers over there. I'll, uh, I'm not I'm not a fan of the of the. Uh, there's, oh, there's those guys that you can either shoot or collect. Those blue guys. And you'll get a thousand points for each of them. Um, I am not a fan of the traditional Thanksgiving meal. I'm not a fan of turkey. Uh, stuffing, man, it's alright. Um, cranberries, blech. <laughs> Don't like a whole lot about uh, Thanksgiving stuff. I prefer, uh, I don't, e don't even care a whole lot about, uh, uh homemade, uh, mashed potatoes. I actually prefer the taste of, uh, uh, like instant potato flakes and, <laughs> and milk and butter or whatever. But, uh, I will probably make a lasagna. I'm <laughs> very, very non-traditional for, uh, Thanksgiving. And there, I destroyed the last boss, and I get 10,000 bonus points, and I start everything all over again. But I'm not gonna, uh, play through for, uh, much longer. <laughs> well, at any rate, that was, uh, Section Z, uh, released by Capcom in 1985. Well, this is Crazy Climber Eddy saying thanks for watching Section Z, game number 11 in our 20 from 1985 series. I hope you join me uh, soon for game number 10. And note that for game number 10, 
I will have a uh, a second intro to my 1985 series. Hope you join me then for that, and I will see you soon with game number 10. Y'all have a good one, everybody. Bye-bye.